we're going to give all of our troubles to the ocean today. We're going to give you a sheet of paper, and we want you to sit down and write what your problems were this year. And we take their little slip of paper, we build a small fire, they burn their problems, we burn them down to a very small amount of ashes, and then we proudly walk down to the sea, and everybody takes a finger full of ashes and they give it to the ocean. Then we just go out and we play in the ocean. We frolic and we play, and we're starting this life, this new day, this new year, without any of these problems from before. And if we could all do that in either a spiritual or a real way, the world would be a better place. We'd be better. We'd be better humans. Sanibel Sea School is an institution whose mission is to save the ocean one person at a time. And there are a lot of ways to fall in love with the ocean. Ours is through discovery, intellectual discovery. What can we go out into the ocean and discover today? Either that's new to us or that's new to science. As a parent, I think you, what you're looking for for your child is an authenticity that touches them, a learning that is visceral, something that they don't just read in a book and process with their brains, but something that they read, they process in their brains and that they feel and that they see. It's a place that kids can come and get dirty and get sandy and hold slimy things and not have to worry about anybody telling them no. So it's really a place about love and caring. So it's like that, that the school you always wanted where every day is a field trip and it's not, you know, sitting in a classroom all day, it's actually being hands-on and interacting with the sea life, with the ocean. We just teach them information that is just meant to blow people's minds because if we can blow a kid's mind about the ocean, it's going to get them so much more engaged and they're just going to love the ocean way more. We're very proud of the fact that we're a sandy buckets and smelly fish institution. We encourage kids to go barefoot. I've always dreamt of being an environmental educator and saving the planet in that way by teaching people about nature and getting them to fall in love with it so that they protect it. It's the best kind of learning. It's not like you won't have to come to school. Like people are, kids are so excited to be here. I was so excited to be here as a little kid. So Sanibel Sea School is a place where we really honor different ways of learning and different ways of being. And it's that hands-on putting you out of your comfort zone while you're still safe that Sea school does. They make sure that you're safe, but then they push you so far out of your comfort zone that sometimes you're like, I don't even know how to respond. But they're there for you when you are, because they know what it's like too, because they've done it as well. And it develops you as a person. And what happens when you're placed into a foreign environment, the ocean, and you're really challenged, both intellectually and physically, and to the limits of your comfort, something happens and you become a different person. We do a lot of outreach programs uh, with our, we call them our landlocked kids. A lot of the kids have never seen the ocean before or known anything about it. So when we take them there, even though they never get to come to the ocean, they almost automatically have that respect for nature and respect for the creatures and want to save it and want to protect it and want to be gentle with it. I feel like I would have been trapped and I feel like I wouldn't have gotten to express myself because I knew I wanted to do something like this. I just didn't know how I could do it. And when you empower a kid to be able to discover, when you empower a kid to use all parts of their brain and all parts of their body, something inside of them switches. A switch goes off. 
and they recognize that they are powerful. Without us, I don't think that they would have that opportunity. So we have three goals each day. We want to be safe, number one. Number two, we want to have more fun than we've had in any time that we can remember. And number three, we'd like to learn something small about the ocean. Three goals, one rule. One rule, be nice to the people around you. And kids get it. And then let's be crazy, crazy nice. Love the ocean. Be, be a steward to the ocean because we are what's making a difference and we are what's hurting the ocean. I think that we have this huge responsibility and this huge power, even though the ocean is like so incredibly powerful, like we're really determining its future. Because the ocean does so, mu so many things for us, I think that in turn, um, we have to give back to it and then it will give back to us. I don't wanna just dedicate my life to study it. I wanna dedicate my life to teaching other people about it too. That's what the Sea School has really taught me. So right now, our campaign is to create a flagship headquarters here on the east end of Sanibel so that it can support satellite campuses in other parts of the world that will help us gain return on mission, see more people, and help us generate revenue that will support the programs that we have. If you want to think that your money has made a difference in the world, or in, in specific people's lives, then this is a great investment. We're investing in the future of the ocean one person at a time. You know that story about uh, when all these starfish were stranded on a, on a beach and a kid goes along and he's throwing them back and his grandfather's like, why are you doing that? You can't throw all the starfish back. And he said, I can save this one.